Tom, it has been, and I have to tell you, I, I'm always grateful to be on with you. I, I appreciate the contributions that you have made, in, you know, intellectually uh, to a body of knowledge that helps shape our politics, our environment, and I, I just, I'm telling you how pleased I am to be with you. Well, thank you. Back at you. I, we, we, I've been a big, big fan for years and years. So uh, you are speaking out now about nuclear weapons. Tell us about this. Well, I had the uh, privilege of addressing the United Nations General Assembly high-level meeting a week ago in New York uh, on uh, nuclear abolition, uh, nuclear disarmament, and nuclear abolition. And, uh, you know, we are at a crisis moment in human history where uh, rhetoric is... Uh, is precipitating saber rattling uh, with nuclear weapons, which could cause us to stumble into a nuclear catastrophe. So I joined uh, uh, representatives, uh, well, one other first, uh, a young woman from Kazakhstan, uh, with uh, representatives of over 40 nations, who a week ago uh, talked about the urgency of nuclear disarmament and abolishing all nuclear weapons. And, you know, with the events uh, in North Korea and the escalating rhetoric, uh, we really need to face this matter squarely and understand the implications if, uh, if we uh, journey into, the, uh, into the, the dark night of, of, uh, of, of, nuclear, uh, of the implementation of nuclear weapon use. It has seemed to me over the years that the last time we had a Republican a high-profile Republican who was in favor of nuclear disarmament, it was Ronald Reagan. Um, and, and, you know, some of that might have come out of good intentions, some of it just out of his kind of fantasy land of the last few years of his presidency um, as, as he was uh, slipping, shall we say. But um, is this a partisan issue? Uh, and, and if so, what do we do about that? And if not, what do we do about that? Well, it's not a partisan issue at all. As a matter of fact, it's not an issue at all, which is part of the problem. I mean, President Obama okayed a trillion-dollar refurbishment of, of the uh, nuclear weapon infrastructure. Uh, you know, it, this is a problem that we have in our culture. The reliance on nuclear weapons, what President Reagan tried to do, is to suggest that we could come up with a, um, uh, w with a defensive device that would shield the country from nuclear weapons, uh, that proved to be a fantasy. This idea of so-called brilliant pebbles, a strategic defense initiative, uh, never worked to begin with. Uh, you know, if, if, if you get into a conflict with a country that has uh, uh, many weapons, it's, it, it's, uh, uh, it's fallacious to think that one won't get through. The idea that uh, a nuclear war is winnable has uh, been, uh, the lie was put to that, uh, uh, years ago, uh, by I think it was Orville or Show who wrote a book called, uh, who wrote a book about that, The Fate of the Earth, uh, was another book. I, I, you know, we really need to uh, come to our senses about the cataclysmic potential of a nuclear weapon. All we do is have to look at Hiroshima and Nagasaki, but the weapons today are many times that, and uh, the fact that human beings are fallible. Uh, we have a president who. Uh, who rattles a nuclear saber. He, he, at, the, at the U.N., he talked about uh, destroying uh, North Korea. Uh, that kind of rhetoric is, uh, is precipitous. It, is, uh, it escalates. Uh, we need to take a different approach in our diplomacy that can't be weapon-based. We need to perfect the science of human relationship, not perfect the science of nuclear weapons in order to resolve uh, yeah. the difficulties that nations have between each other. I, I, I absolutely get it that um, tweaking the nose of a, of a uh, thin-skinned, tin-pot dictator, uh, you know, uh, wannabe king of the world uh, who has nuclear weapons is a stupid idea. But Kim Jong-un keeps doing that. He keeps tweaking Donald Trump's nose. Um, well, is, is there any... You know, I, I, yeah, I, I got that. You know, but, but let's look at some underlying reality, which the American people are generally unaware of. And that is that the United States, uh, together with South Korea, has been conducting war games 
on the uh, on the border, in the, you know, the, on the edge of the DMZ zone, uh, with live fire from rockets and tanks and uh, 78,000 troops on the border, uh, uh, as if we're going to invade the north. And the north's uh, missile testing has to be, which can't be justified, but it must be seen in the context of a uh, of a of an invasion that is being. Um, uh, feigned or practiced uh, by the United States and South Korea. We, we have to, if you, you don't do that, if you don't want to stumble into and precipitate a, a, a wider war. And that's why, you know, I, I, I think that the U.S. needs to get out of South Korea. Uh, we need to stop pretending that North Korea is a bargaining chip in our relationship with China, uh, because this is really about China and Russia even more than it's about North Korea, There's, if we have these pretensions that somehow uh, we are going to dominate that region, that level of megalomania needs some serious mental health counseling. Yeah. And, and, and so we, we need, you know, this is a time for diplomacy. This is a time for us to engage Russia and China and North Korea in, a, uh, in an agreement that we stop, uh, the, stop the rhetoric, stop pretending we're going to invade, stop pretending that we can uh, have a sphere of influence in somebody's uh, uh, backyard or their front yard. Look at a map. I would ask anybody listening to this program, look at a map where North Korea is. Look to the north and the west. There is China. Look to the north and the east. There is Russia. What are we doing? Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely agree. So is there, uh, we're talking with Dennis Kucinich, former Congressman Dennis Kucinich. Kucinich.com is his website. You can tweet him at Dennis underscore Kucinich. Congressman, what, is there an agency, a website, a group, an advocacy group? Is there, you know, for somebody who's listening to this conversation and saying, you know, I'd like to do something, whether, whether it's showing up for a meeting or sending 25 bucks or just spreading the good word, uh, where would you point people? Well, there's a number of advocacy, group, advocacy groups who are uh, who, who are trying to um, uh, get rid of nuclear weapons. I spoke at the UN on behalf of uh, a a broad coalition uh, of international groups who rally under the name of the Base or B A S E L uh, uh, Peace Group. Uh, but you have Abolition 2000. Uh, there, there are uh, the parliamentarians for nuclear uh, uh, disarmament. There's a number of groups. And if anyone wants to contact me directly, they can go to Kucinich.com and send me a message, and I'll put them in touch with the leaders of these of various organizations. But more than anything, Tom, we need to, uh, we need to demand that our leaders in Congress uh, take down this nuclear weapons uh, infrastructure. Uh, this does not provide deterrence. It invites the use of nuclear weapons. And we only have to look uh, to Hiroshima and Nagasaki to know the effect. I'll tell you, I was very moved when I heard that uh, a, a leading Japanese official speak to the United Nations. Japan knows the price of uh, the misuse of nuclear weapons, and, and we, need to, uh, we need to take a lesson from that and stop dancing in the graveyard of, of history here, pretending that uh, just because we have nuclear weapons uh, that we're going to be safe. The only thing, the only way we'll ever be safe is to, is to lead the effort in getting rid of all nuclear weapons. Brilliantly my said. My speech, by the way, Tom, on the United Nations, it can be uh, people can get it on the UN website, uh, and they can also uh, go to the web. I think it's been reprinted in a couple different places. Yeah. Okay, Congressman Kucinich, thank you so much for being with us today. Tom, I really appreciate the opportunity to speak to this your... This is Thank the you. Tom Hartman Program. Thank you, Congressman Dennis Kucinich. It's always great having you with us. Uh, you can tweet him, Dennis underscore Kucinich and Kucinich.com.